Hello everyone, welcome back. We're watching the PC Gamer sh PC Gaming Showcase. Day 9's hosting. Uh, they're doing like trailers of trailers right now, and there's like an AI thing. I don't, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, Zeke and Co are here. We're gonna meet them now. And uh, let's see what we got. Tiny Bill game worthy of our attention. It would be Slime 3K, a slime centric spin Are they gonna have Gollum 2 announced? Boy, I hope so. Another auto battler? Auto shooter? Auto shooter, is that what we call it? Yeah, auto battler's different. Maybe? Hey, although something's going on in the bottom of the screen there. I don't yeah. know. Something, something wild was going on there. I really hope they announce Gollum 2 here, Co. What do you think the chances are? Oh, I'd say 105%, JP. That's correct. You will be pleased I think there's one sure chance, you know, like the one ring, like there's one game that shows a 97.6% one chance of exciting your viewing public. Mm -hmm. It combines mm -hmm. dynamic airship combat without the very real danger of modern day piracy. Now load. Oh, this game's actually great. Columns. Game's actually great. Yeah. Is it? I thought. Is it out or is it just early access? I think it's. I think it's either coming out or I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I saw on Twitter that on Thursday they're also going to show um, and reveal some other games at that Xbox showcase. Yep. So. Seeing that too. Definitely will tune in. So that. it looks like we're watching that. What time <laughs> is that one? Uh, let me look. It is. Is that on my events thing? Hold on. It's 1 p.m. Thursday, Eastern. Uh, jump through with the 10 dollars tip. Thank you. I got the I got the uh, Starfield thing. Thank you. You said it was 10 Eastern. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. 1 p.m. Perfect. Great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. We will... Oh, Tuesday or Thursday? Oh, sorry. Tuesday. I don't know why I said Thursday. Tuesday. I just can't read. Okay. I'm in that boat as well. Do we have that on our thing? We do. Great. So tomorrow is Ubi at 1. Yep. And Capcom at 6. Six. Yep. Then Tuesday at one is the Xbox showcase. And then Wednesday is upload VR at 2 p.m. ET. Yep. And then Thursday is the RGG Summit at 11 p.m. So I'm gonna have to watch that the next morning. Yeah, I'm not, uh, well, if I'm still up doing Subathon stuff, I'll watch that, but otherwise I won't. Did you make a decision on uh, if you're gonna play the Final Fantasy 16 demo? I'm not. Okay, you're skipping. I'm skipping. I'm going in. I, dude, I am. I know so little about 16. I am just riding the blind wave right into it. It's a good place to yep. be if you know you're yep. gonna play it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Black Skylands has it all. We got open world steampunk. Oh, guns, the Persona 3 producer confirmed that the remake will not yeah, have Fez basically stuff. Like a father figure to you. That's interesting. What would you do What's that? If outlaws destroy uh, the entire place, including me. Would you take to the skies? <laughs> kind of spoileries. On those dirt <laughs> I'm not okay, kidding. never mind. It, never mind. It's not a great thing, but it. Eh. Foiled by Asimov again. It's like post story stuff, I guess. At least, like, miss me, right? Why would they take it out? You. Yeah, I don't know. In your maybe, absence, maybe so they could I would simply sell you that later. Right? Oh, sell to you later? Yeah. Ouch. Well, All right, Chad, I got a buffalo chicken pizza on the way. No one can say I haven't created and, a and some brownies. excellent AI. Software capable of seeking out and critiquing the latest games coming to PC. It's just a shame it lacks something more personal. I mean... Imagine what a co-host this AI could be if it had access to every bit of information on the internet, but it had the likability, the human touch of, say, Frankie, 
Oh, stick around because it is not long until the show starts and I would hate for you to miss out on the biggest exclusives, a truckload of first looks and a promising new co-host. Ha! Let's start the PC gaming show. Here we go. I like how their pre-show was like actually a pre-show. Like that was that was kind of great. Uh oh. <clears throat> Mature people only chat. Zeke, I'm looking at you. Hey. Wow. <laughs> now listen here. Calling him out like that. Hey, Frankie. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. I mean, I was just in the middle of deathmatch. But... Great, great to hear it, Frankie. Listen, I've been thinking about the PC Gaming Show 2023, and I kind of want to make a few updates. Sure, I mean, it's already packed with world exclusives, in-depth interviews with- I guess the they didn't want to do the studio. Crazy good giveaways. What more can we add? Maybe. Well, look, I don't want to get into the, you know, detail- <laughs> Cat hair on his mic. Fine yeah. print the ethically sinister motives behind true innovation. No, 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 Frankie, what I've realized is that I can't do this show without you. Oh, sure. Or at least a version of you. Huh? Oh, blah, 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 listen to me yapping on when there's so much to do. I mean, we got things to plan, code to write. Oh, listen, I'm also, to write. I brought in some new assistants, you know, to help I love that this is the PC the gaming show, show but the right. window he's it in when it's so on Frankie great. is a mock-up of an Apple window. Little yeah. old London town. You know, to just get the ball rolling. Does that sound good? <laughs> I, I, I suppose if it's for the show. Excellent. Oh, hey, that's them. Ah, oh, Frankie, let me say it again. You are one of a kind. Now, please give my love to Gunta and Helga. Ah, oh, they're great guys. Very thorough. Um. Hello, are you, are you Sean's guys? Mr. Sean has many great ideas for the show. You are lucky to know such a man. He is a visionary. A visionary. He is a man with his eyes locked on the future, like a horse staring into the sun. A majestic horse. Oh my God, these accents. Read now, please. If you like the look of game A, then check out this world exclusive of game B. Necessary data acquired. Dear Frankie, thank you for your unwavering service to the PC Gaming Show. Your services will not be required this year as we pivot towards the future. No hard feelings, Sean <laughs> Day 9 plot, AI visionary, and all round good guy. <laughs> Son of a. They replaced Frankie with AI. That's amazing. Oh my god. I actually, I actually love that. Oh, wow. Hold on. Wow. Oh, hello there, everyone, and welcome wow, to going PC Gaming full jobs, huh? 2023. Love it. I'm Sean Day Nine Plot, and today I'm not Dude, just what are they doing? You on a tour of the finest upcoming Oh, my PC God, games. it's Day Nine Jobs. I am standing with you on the bleeding edge of innovation. I revolutionize how this show is made. Production crew, pff, ditched him, don't need him. It's just me, my automated systems, and this one guy I've hired on work experience. Say hi, Dakota. Hey. hey. So what does the face <laughs> Dakota. of the future look like? Weirdly, pretty familiar. Why don't you introduce yourself, Frank AI? Hello, broadcast viewers. I am Frank AI, a virtual co-host based on professional gaming icon, Frankie Ward, utilizing deep learning neural networks. Oh, super duper. And duper duper. What do you have lined up for us? <laughs> I have analyzed the entirety of published games media and surveyed discussion forums for the most anticipated titles. I have then constructed the ideal showcase, including titles like Stormgate, Path of Exile 2, 
Pax Day, June Awakening, and finally, Morris Men, Troop Lord of Destiny. I wonder if the other credits on who wrote like this, because I'm dance. wondering if Brit had something to do with this. Are you sure that's a real game? Maybe. My mistake, Sean. Morris Men is a game concept I devised based on a holistic survey of oh the my. most popular Dude, this might titles. be a thing. Would you like me to generate another? Ah, uh, you know, instead, what do you mean? let's just get things rolling with something that actually exists. First up, from 11-Bit Studios, we return to an icy apocalypse in Frostpunk 2. Well, oh, what I mean by what I said? Like, th dude, there's a lot of good games here. This this might actually be a thing. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Do you hear it? No. <laughs> you don't hear that? Restless. Is it, is it, is it fart? Ambition. Requires men to feed upon. It also needs time. Direction. And sacrifice. But for every man who fulfills this calling. There are thousands left with nothing. It's them who knock and open the door to hell. really cheery starting off with that one um real uh <laughs> feel good vibe going yeah, on there. i know right uh, uh. <laughs> oh, oh oh by the way real quick real quick this will be fast an unexpected chain of events sets two legendary ex-Yakuza, Kasuga Ichiban and Kazuma Kiryu, on a larger-than-life RPG adventure. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth is the previously unannounced eighth iteration in Ryu Gagotoku's flagship series, launching early 2024. So I think, I think that was actually the trailer for Like a Dragon 2. Huh. I think that is the next big one. Cool. And Kiryu's in it. Awesome. <laughs> we already knew that? Well, I mean, a little bit. I mean, he wasn't really in the first like a dragon. I mean, he was a little. That's cool. That's cool. He was in the. Hey, I mean, yeah. Out. I mean, you know. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. Like my own script Whoa. for this show anymore. All right, wait. All right. <clears throat> Up next. We've got a pile of fresh previews for the most visceral, immersive PC releases coming our way, featuring visceral combat and immersive exploration, visceral landscapes and immersive storytelling. Fans of immersion will... <sighs> yeah, it kind of just keeps going on like this, so I think it just needs a little bit more fine-tuning. And until that point, Let's just go ahead and dive right into our next previews with Nivalis, Jump Light Odyssey, and Road to Vostok. Cool. There's a city you see when you close your eyes. Oh. Are they closed. What do you see? Like Open your eyes. Yeah, Nivalis. this is that cool pixel art game. Wow, that's gorgeous. I think we've seen this before. Maybe you've been here before. This game looks awesome. That yeah, that's really yeah. pretty. It's I want that as like home. a wallpaper. This is your apartment. The sounds of the nightclubs nearby are the heartbeat of the city. The street food smells drift through your windows and make your head swim. It's hard to sleep here. Your restless legs want to walk the busy streets. Let's explore. I saw Nivalis some anime, but I don't know if you guys clouds. missed that, but it was there. It was good. But you can't yeah. make a rainbow without yep. a little rain. Like most things in life, it's best yeah, cloud to start punk, that's what it reminds me of too. Work your way up. It's not so bad down here. 
We can go fishing, take a boat ride, soak up the atmosphere. And don't worry too much about the serial killer on the loose. I'm sure we'll never meet him. I can even help you run your new business venture. A noodle stand. With a little work, there's no limits to how high you'll climb. Just don't look down. As your digital companion, I can help you navigate the complex relationships with my personality matrix. Business partners, friends, rivals, uh, enemies. Maybe some even physics there. Lovers. <laughs> it's all about saying the right thing at the right time. Your choices matter, so choose carefully. You can take pictures and put them on the wall of your apartment. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. It's called Navalis. Consider this your I am pretty sure I wish listed that, but I need to double check because that needs a wish list. Yeah, that looks cool. Yep. I, I yep. just want it's that there. as a wallpaper on my desktop. I don't I don't need to play the game. <laughs> Princess, the Sotopans will be in our system any minute. But they're not here yet. Prepare defenses. Oh, already on my wish list. Upgrading our engine capability. Oh, this is that, that spaceship it. game. Yeah. System. Don't lose hope now. Red alert! Jump light report. Jump light calibration almost complete, Your Highness. Incoming to turbine fighters. Four ships jumping in. Scramble fighters. Blue meter engaging enemy. Taking heavy They're on deck. They're coming on deck. Combat division, handle those orders. ETA on jump. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. Not today, Voltan. Voltan. <laughs> Not today, Voltan. Go on. <laughs> Daisy. Single-player Tarkov or something. <laughs> yeah, because he missed all their oh, shots. That would piss me off so bad. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I immediately don't want to play this game. That would infuriate me. Oh, it's on Patreon. Oh Contact my god. Is enabled. Upcoming games in the next 30 minutes include Path of Exile 2, the full ferocious trailer, it's gonna be the same Age trailer of Sigmar, for... Realms of Ruin, and Citizen Sleep oh, 2, shit. Star Warhammer's Vector. Here. Failure to keep watching will lead to a personal system failure. Lies of P, the Pinocchio oh, yeah. Bloodborne like game, the is Pinocchio just a couple of months off. Like and it's got me thinking, what other untapped literary veins are just waiting to be gamified? I can generate a list of game concepts, pairing underutilized classic literature and an appropriate style. Well, that Road of to Bostock game has oh, a demo. By all means, but stick to a public domain. Yes. We want to keep costs down. Of course, Sean. Concept one Great Expectations, Dirt Bike Racer. I don't really know what the market is for that. Next. Concept two, Sense and Sensibility, VR Shooter. Sweet Jane Austen's bonnet, no. Next, next, next. Concept three, Oliver Twist. Please, sir, may I have some war? It's artful, but a little problematic. I mean, why don't you just throw something together like a Metroidvania based on the Christmas Carol? I'm afraid you're too late, Sean, but perhaps you'd be interested in Ebenezer and the Invisible World. Are you kidding? Is she kidding? She's not kidding. World premiere. Did yeah. they just make an entire, like, farcical joke at the entire premise of the game they're about to show? Because that is kind of ballsy and hilarious. Huh. They basically said, like, man, who would make this ridiculous game? Oh, wait, here it is. You know, the works. devs are like, yeah, who would do that? <laughs> <laughs>
This game looks like an actual fever dream. <laughs> Oh my god, is that the ghost of Christmas past? And she's hot. She is. Who is that like dinosaur guy? What? Scrooge has drop kicks. Oh, the ghosts give you like your uh, Metroid powers. Yeah. If that's your thing, more power to you, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't even. Better come out Christmas. Done, sir. All right, can we guess? the name of this game in one try without second guessing ourselves. War Fiends. War Machines? That's too good. You already fell. War Topley. War Haven. War Space. War Bory. That actually is a good name for games. RTS we saw. Oh my god, it looks like CNC. Hell yeah, it does. Oh, this is awesome. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that looks fun to play against. Uh, fair and balanced. Dwarf? Huh. It's an interesting name. Dwarf looks phenomenal. Hey, Frank AI, as a mind birth from like everything ever written about video games, I'm sure you've got an interesting take on it. What are your thoughts? Sure, Dwarf isn't just about strategic balance of resource scarcity and military industry. It's a game about the human condition, about our shared struggle against a cold and uncaring universe. That's pretty moving sentiment there, Frankie. Hey, what about Warhaven? Warhaven isn't just about clashing swords and moments of magic heroism. It's a game about the human condition, about our shared struggle against a cold and uncaring universe. Well, some wisdom bears repeating, right? And while I go sort out some unrelated gremlins in Frank AI's procedural critique, let's see a game with its own gremlins to sort out, preferably with a shotgun. These creatures infernal, these perils eternal. Lord, heal me, free me. Uh, taco. <laughs> there 
There's an episode of Bojack Horseman where he's having like a trip or a fever dream or something like that, where he loses all of his outlines, like because he's animated, right? So he loses all of his outlines and he starts his colors just start to bleed out. That's what this <laughs> is. This has no outlines on anything. has music as good as this because this is great. Looks kind of cool. Not, I don't, the name's kind of I was so distracted. I'm checking on my food order, and I feel like that game was just showing the same thing a lot of times. Yeah. You lost go to pizza? Yes, you did. Huh. I looked away during the cool parts. Well, maybe we'll have to check it out later. Thank you for believing in me. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Together, we'll make it the best shop the island's ever seen. Huh. Wait, are those all... Nice those all those are other people, this yeah. And you'll be running your own shop. Maybe your own district. Welcome to Karzai Village. What? Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did you just use, like, a wicker chair as a fucking weapon? What the fuck is this game? Okay. I am so confused right now. I don't know what's It's like a weird a NFT game. Oh God, I hope not. Eh. We're going out on a date. Uh oh. I, I, uh, oh, she, she did the bite thing. I, I freaking told her. What are you gonna do? Uh oh. Breaking news. A mysterious infection. Oh God, if you reload chat, the I, 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 is in. What is going on? Horrifying. I mean, oh God. the infected uh, the wall. Steroids, man, not even once. You. Your smile, your warmth. What? Is there anything we can do? We just saw a broadcaster get eaten. I have to go. No, defeating him now might make the wall fall on top of us. But I can teach you a couple of things too, you know. Oh, I think we, I think we saw. We're going to die. Have we? Wait for me! Goodbye. I want to wake up! It's not over! Not yet! I love you. You love me? Save the date. September 2023? Do you not know what else is coming out on that time? Oh my god. We're already all saved the date like five there. times over. Showing us we that don't love want to go to space, simple. Co. They want Especially to go on a date. In the middle of an apocalypse. Fine. With a virtual you know, I lady. I'm a little misty eyed myself about a simpler time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love modernity. And sure, big text on some stumbling. I bet Mark Zuckerberg's probably a little lonely in the Matrix. But all <laughs> I'm saying is the olden days had an appeal. Medieval times when we were plowing our own fields and treating everything with leeches. Not buying eight pictures <laughs> with weird electric money. Luckily, though, video games can bring the medieval fantasy to life. No, I'm to not find out how, tonight's. I had Frank AI Unless activate her new reporter drone. Oh, month or something. It's designed to identify, question, and report back on the work of leading game developers. And don't worry. Technically speaking, it's completely legal. I mean, this little guy's even got a selfie light. It's like kind of cute in like a friendly panopticon kind of way. <clears throat> Little RD has flown itself all the way out to Helsinki, Finland to meet the Amazing. team behind the highly anticipated medieval must play, PAX Day. Oh, Let's hell yeah. Dude, this is like one of my most anticipated MMOs right now. Are they developing it in a castle? No, you build us. 
biggest truth. This is all in-game graphics. Even my name is even this guy. Why does he look so sad? <laughs> Puck's Day. Puck's Day is um. It's an he lives in world. Finland. <laughs> fantasy game. That sounds in a great. Breathing world where you, which we can call home, where it's teeming with life, mysteries, and it's it's for you to explore. Imagine yourself if you are living in 12th or 13th century Europe. It's a very different reality. You know, it's where knowledge has been lost and is getting you know, rediscovered. It's where you know, magic truly exists and ghosts exist and the myths are real. And this is kind of the, the inspiration we take to build. It's basically going back to the roots of what fantasy means and building a fantasy world based on real world mythologies. And so we go very much into the roots. So we're using a lot of uh, medieval uh, literature and um, medieval bestiaries and remorse, using real world magic, uh, actual recipes for healing and, and uh, ointments, and using the, the real world magical properties of plants. I'm Sol Karam. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Mainframe Industries. So Pax Day, maybe the way to explain it would be, imagine you're in this amazing, beautiful world, it's huge, and you find yourself in a forest, and your mission is to find a plot for where you start building a home. And from that home, you will go on to adventures to explore the world. So with the lore, we have wanted to create something that is fairly like deep and rich and grounded in reality, but something that is actually not a direct copy of like any of the history. Um, so there's gonna be, there's multiple types of ruins, there's the, the dungeons, um, and, and you will be able to find snippets of the lore from the eras when these were created um, in the game itself. And, and part of the like lore and mystery is also part of the, in, in the gameplay itself. So you will be able to like find and examine things and actually then find snippets that help you find other places and make items in the game itself. And the, the area of the game that you will be able to play when the game launches is we're calling it Gallia. And it's very similar to the areas of the world in, in Southern France. Uh, with the influences from the Nordics where we're from. So what we're building is, we're calling it the social sandbox. We're putting the least amount of barriers to entry on, on how you can actually interact with other players. Uh, mm -hmm. Where most MMOs actually put a lot of blocks in how you can cooperate with the other players, and we're fundamentally different. So from the first minute when you start playing the game, you will be able to do everything you imagine with the other players. So you can trade, other people can actually help you. You can literally go into a like dungeon raid from the very beginning of like you're starting the journey in the in the game, should you find people who actually help you to do that? What we want to create an environment that actually really incentivizes you find people, people to, to play the game you. the way yeah. they like. And that, get the horny some, stick. No, like that's not what we're talking about right now. And, like, nope. Cutting down Slow down. It's something that Slow it down. A sense what? of achievement. What? You know the coal that you're helping to produce actually is valuable for the guild. Some people will absolutely prefer to just go to the dungeons. They couldn't That's care less bomb. about the kill, uh, coal production, but these players as well still depend on each other, but there's valuables to bring from the, the dungeon, gonna... there's valuables what to bring the, from the forest. The and even the PvP over there? players, they will be able to produce items that are only available through the PvP, but they will depend on the other players as well. Yeah, this MMO is trying a lot of very the new, of interesting things. is very much inspired by real-world folklore and uh, uh, and fairy tales. Uh, with, of course, the caveat that in Pax Day, this stuff is actually literally real. The interesting thing about folklore throughout the ages is that folklore are actually start out as true stories, whereas fairy tales are... Say it one more fiction. time, motherfucker, I dare you. Too. Folklore often, you know, handles about yes! ghosts or spirits or, or, or some supernatural things. But in the eyes of the people, you know, during those times, this is reality. This is real. Ghosts are real. And, you know, this is not disputed as, you know, any, any fantasy. And this is what we want to reflect. So when you're walking in the forest at night, you would find these things. You would find ghosts. You would Information find spirits, about like, you know, utensils, chat. And the deeper you go, the more mysterious and strange it becomes. You don't want They're them to all get real, started chat. about... Everything's real. Sport. Yeah, but can you put pictures on your wall in this game? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. I just want to with know your about ghost uh, folklore. If I you know? cause any existential anxiety with my presence, it might help to try reframing those stresses in a positive light. Think of me, perhaps, as a blue shell from your favorite kart racer. 
I might be wielded to ruthlessly destroy hard-earned positions, but we can still have fun. Maybe there's a lizard driving a little car. Isn't that nice? Let's celebrate the same spirit of kart racing treachery as our next preview brings Mario Kart Mayhem to PC. Here's Stampy oh Racing God, I Royale. Love it. I love it. World premiere. Can I use tilt controls for this? That's a lot of different cars on there. Sixty players. Sixty players. Cool. Yeah, that seems that can be kind of wild. From Last Rising 2, The Search for Life, the art team is looking to balance style and authenticity to faithfully. Sir, they would never let you into space with that much hair. Yeah, like, I, holy shit. Players will see familiar rocket launches and a host of historical missions, past, present, and future. The, chat's the design like, team has consulted with many space industry professionals he's retired. to make sure that the oh, gameplay reflects the hair than than be Jesus. on the front did line of exciting interplanetary discoveries. JP, did you no see him? Better hair than no. No. Did you see him on the screen? Have you take Jesus' oh hair's God, name in vain again? It was crazy. To see Path of Exile two in action. You had a better beard be too. Something of a Path of Exile veteran myself. That's I, a you are taking sure. Jesus' mane in vain. What? Your path of exile playtime falls well below the community average. But the time isn't what matters in that game. I'm also analyzing your chosen character builds in recent leagues and no, 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 my, my build was a They're producing some troubling DPS simulation. Fascinating. Well, Fascinating. she has watched Frankie, but Sean's let's not stream keep the good of people waiting. Either. Let's roll the tape for Path of Exile 2, please. Here we go. Oh, is this more? Siri could it's see different. This now. Ugh, disgusting. I swear it looks so oh, much more zoomed is. out. Yeah. They, they say it's not, right? I don't know. I, it feels like sharpness is on like 7,000, though. You're mine. Vile abomination. Oh, is that the new spin to win? I want that. Now. The stench. It's getting worse. So what build is this, guys? Just it's all new skills. It. All oh. new skills, man. He's also using a spear, which is a new weapon. Yep. Man, I love the little intro thing. Is that it? Is it all the people do at this show? Yeah. Well, they're, they're saving it for Exile Con. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is the dinosaur game. Yeah, yeah. This is Torok. Hey, everyone. My name is uh, Leo, and I'm the lead developer of a new action adventure game, Ferocious. Ferocious. Oh. I began working on Ferocious a few years ago with the idea of creating a first person shooter in a timeless Lost World type of setting, combining all the top action with exploration and a sense of wonder. <laughs> we were always inspired by mysterious he places frozen in time that you may have seen in movies like King Kong and so I just got Kong. I just got a, a spam a game on my phone yeah do you care if I talk over this I say no. this similar to early installments of franchise like Fire oh, no, yes you can I don't care if you talk the flexibility <laughs> of the unity engine allows us to create unique solutions to solve environments and okay I just got a, such a as spam water effects and realistic vegetation. we've disabled your credit card due to unusual transaction attempts tap a mix this link to check it http divine dash frost dash four three oh seven dot on dot I mean, I think you better click that <laughs> link. <laughs> I just love the dot on dot fleek. I hope you guys are excited. Sounds as I legit. Am. Feel free to wish list and follow the game. On I know. I better. I better get right on this, guys. Give me a few minutes. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I'll mute your mic if you need to call someone. <laughs>
on Welcome <laughs> to Islands of Insight, an epic shared world puzzle adventure game set in a world of fantasy, uh -oh, ancient this... wonders. Okay. Oh, oh, and this is the uh, Chaos Principle 2? Oh, maybe not. Mysterious puzzles, oh, they said shared world. And I feel like the puzzler is about to make you his, and uh... other players to discover. Alone, debut. Legally, legally distinct Riddler. All yeah. At your own pace. Oh, at my own pace? Oh my God, that's gonna be no. My, see, I for the next that. twenty years. Off they anything multiplayer is not your own pace. Yeah. Explain you need to actually beta test so they understand what that really means. Yeah. And anything with other players is not at your own pace at all. Savor the achievement of every solution as the world around you unlocks, revealing new challenges to That's face, cool. new areas to explore, cool. and fantastic rewards to collect. In Islands of Insight, a beautiful realm of tranquility and adventure awaits you. Embark on the path of discovery and let your curiosity guide you through a world of wonders where the answer is always in This is actually really cool. Oh. <laughs> I'm in. Wish listed. <laughs> So, someone in my no chat question. says that's me flying away from every puzzle I couldn't solve. <laughs> I might only have an old-fashioned analog neural network, but I'm going to risk some data analysis of my own. Those Dark Souls games seem like a big deal, huh? Luckily, while From Software is taking a recess to work on giant robots, Hexworks is stepping in with a fresh supply of very depressed knights with very big swords. Coming this October, here's your latest look at Lords of the Fallen. Dude, he is such a good host. The timing is crazy. In of the Fallen, you'll explore two parallel worlds. Oh, he's doing land of Living, over. where demonic knights and hulking monsters are trying to murder oh, yeah, you. yeah, look at that. And the spooky Umbral Plain, where the ghosts of those creatures are trying to super murder you. <laughs> Using the latest Unreal 5 technology, developer Hexworks has layered these realities directly on top of each other, allowing you to portal to the Umbral Plane at will. Just try not to die in there. In the spirit of the Dark Souls games, failure will be punished. Adventuring in dungeons? Any idiot could do that. But managing an evil dungeon? Now we're talking elite. The dungeon of Nalbuk is feared throughout the lands of Fang. It is an avant-garde evil structure, combining tradition and disruptive innovation. And it's looking for its new steward. Of course, we have the most trained and prepared guards, the most efficient staff, this is like the dungeon most keeper? devious monsters, huh. and the most attractive treasures. Wait, we're on camera? Uh, uh, but wait, there's more. We have state-of-the-art production facilities, an R&D center, B2C processes, and an efficient waste recycling system. Our underlings, uh, I mean employees, can fully express themselves thanks to our committed HR management and peaceful social dialogue, and can enjoy the use of clean, safe premises. <laughs> hey, don't film that, or you'll be the one cutting to shreds on the editing floor. As a steward, your main task will be to make the dungeon functional and attractive to adventurers, so they'll want to come here to get slaughtered and humiliated. To achieve that, you'll have access to guards, traps, and hexes. You'll also get to organize raids to on this. nearby areas to provide me with treasures and relics. Thanks to your boundless devotion, I, Zangdar, will become the greatest warlock of the lands of Fang! <laughs> Looking for a job that gives meaning to your life and makes the world a better place? Then buzz off! But if you're organized, servile, sneaky, and enjoy a positive work atmosphere, come take your chance. I'll be waiting for right. you in my office. Me, How me, is that not this? copywritten? Huh. What was that called? Dungeons of something? Dungeon Master. World Premiere. Na oh, Nahablebluh. Fabro, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not 
私に協力しなさいあなたの才は貴重よ短い人生だもの使わない手はないでしょう時は刻一刻と過ぎていくわ賢明な決断を期待してるわよ、oh, oh. This game looks great! I am on board for this game. <laughs> Or a demon mariachi? La Sombra. Whoa. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, that looks fucking badass. Are you alright, Sean? Our programming included a gunfight slash dance sequence to promote Mariachi Legends, but your heavy breathing is indicative of exhaustion, panic, or that you are currently entering childbirth. No, no, no. Don't worry about anything. Systems are a go. Our schedule. It's just packed with so many games. I understand, Sean. I'll provide assistance. Notification Day 9 has been updated to Day 10. <laughs> What? You just can't replace me? Like, roll, roll the system update back. I don't want whatever this is. I'm sorry, Sean, but support has been discontinued for older versions. What? What's up, Day 9? I'm Day 10, <laughs> the latest software version of popular gaming host, Day 9. Oh my god, it is Day Fieri. Oh Consequences my of my actions. Hello, I am Frank AI. What's up, Frank AI? I'm Day 10, so, the latest hello, software version. I, am Frank I suspect AI. they're gonna be at this for a while, so let's just go ahead and fire up a trailer for a strategy game. Age of Sigmar, hey, here we Realms go. of Ruin, while I- uh, Oh, hopefully we'll see some gameplay. some strategizing of my own. Dakota, start unplugging things. I'll just tell you when to stop. Just pull it. Hello, I am Frank AI. I wonder if it's gonna be like Donna War. Commander, there is a stench of death about this place. Not just from the Oryx. Death comes for everyone. Eventually. Except us. <laughs> Fortify our Whoa. position. We must claim this swamp. Oh, it is like God of War. Enemy sighted. Sigma, give me strength. Oh, dude. Yeah, that could be a lot of fun. We need the loot. Let's face to a corpse. They always go. Aiden, I will take the fight to the Auric Warlord. You hold here. Fate conspires against us both. Not fate. Do you see? Get him! I hope it's not just me, but are you guys getting like screen tearing? No. No. Okay. No. Maybe it is me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, open beta really July 7th. Want. Fuck yeah. Cool, oh, man. Definitely play Check that. that out. World premiere. Wake up, sleeper. Oh. Sleeper has awakened! Oh. Wrong movie. No, 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 get out! They haven't finished it! Oh, sleeper's finished, aren't you? We had a deal, Sleeper, and yet here you are, risking it all to try and break our contract to end your dependence. Just wanted to use them, you piece of shit. Nothing wrong with being a tool in a time of crisis. Uh, there's a war on, and while it rages, well, there's opportunity. I thought you were an opportunity sleeper, desperate, on the run, a hard worker with certain needs. I met. You guys ever read the or I gave the you the hard boiled comic? Lent you a ship, even nope. hooked you up okay. with a contract or two. And, and yes, I took my share, but that only seems fair. 
I invested in you. But then, you went and did this. And now, you don't need this. And I don't need you anymore either. Sleeper, go! Now! To the ship! So this is Citizen Sleeper 2. Did you guys ever play 1? No, my chat's saying it was good. I've never heard of it. Yeah. I've never heard of this game. This? <laughs> this is just the beginning, Sleeper. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, I think my food's about to get here, so I need to run and get it, which makes me a sad I have potato. found no official case of death by FOMO We're anywhere talking. on the no, internet. No. <laughs> However, I would not suggest risking being the first case. Failure to watch the next section of this show would result in you missing amazing new content from Dread Pilots, Miasma Chronicles, Pathfinder Gallo Spartan, oh, and Parcel Core. Huh. But first, here's Critico. See it, sorry. <clears throat> World premiere. Oh my god. Hold on. No, I want to see this. I just realized the food people just drove past my house. Hey, doors, uh, gates open right now. Thank you. Is this a fishing game? No! All right, I have to get my food. Damn it! Fishing! Diving game, too. I can't believe he doesn't have someone there like working his gate like me and you, you know? Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Like, who doesn't leave their food at the door? And then someone in my chat said, You don't have a gate. And I went, Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have a gate. I don't live <laughs> in a gated community. Or a house with a gate. Right. But if you can afford a gate, you can probably afford someone else. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If there was an award for being unbearably cute while also being unbearably fun, there is no question. It would be down to the wire between Critter Cove and yours truly. I mean, it's a strong matchup, but please, clear winner. After 3,411 simulated contests, I predict Critico's probability of victory at over 99%. What, now is when you start fact-checking now? Well, while AI might not have mastered the subtle art of ego boosting, it's already powering new ways to play. By teaming up human storytelling with AI assistants, the team over at Hidden Door have developed a generative spin on pen and paper role play. It is so tantalizingly delicious, I had no choice but to send Ardy's adorable all-seeing eye to check in on the project. Hidden Door 
Tumblr is a role playing game where you and your friends come together, you can play in any world you choose, you create your characters, and then together you decide what kind of story you're gonna have. So the idea would be you've just read a book, you can't get it out of your head, now you can go and play your own story adventure in the world of that book that you're directing within the rules and the canon that the author has set and confirmed with a what? generative AI narrator. The way it works is that you come in, you choose the world you want to play in. Right now we have The Wizard of Oz, many more exciting worlds to come. You create your character, you decide the kind of adventure you're gonna have by pulling out of your deck of story cards, and then the system oh my creates God, what is this? a unique story adventure for you. Uh, and then you can do anything you want. It AI takes a lot of the joys of playing RPG? a tabletop role-playing game nope. and brings them into a digital format. And as you play, you see a graphic novel come together dynamically based on what you choose to do and how the world and the story reacts to you. It's like an improv show where you, even though you might play the same cards, you get a different, unique story every time. So you throw words in, it comes up with uh, suggested things you might do, you pick something, and then it reacts to you. And so then along with our AI narrator, who plays the role of, say, the game master, you can go on any adventure you want, and you can do anything. So it's like and chat, the GPT, system and the D &D. story will continue based on your choices. Yeah. Oh. At Hidden Door, we are thing, working right? with authors yeah, and GPT. folks who make some really exciting <laughs> TV shows and other media to bring those worlds into the platform. And the system supports anything fictional. So it does do science fiction, it does do fantasy, it does, you know, period romance, um, which you can think of as more relationship-based gameplay in addition to sort of your standard action-based gameplay um, or sort of dungeon crawl-based storytelling. While there may be a million Star Wars games in the world, if you were playing one on Hidden Door, because of our AI narrator and the story engine, the choices you make matter. So when you decide that you want to become, say, the governor of Tatooine, you can do um, that. And the world changes um, around you and your character. Uh, you are able man, to meaningfully the... alter the plot of <laughs> the entire world. In a way I'm that the mouse, and, and, and uh, uh, we'd like to uh, sue them. There's Fuck no out of you. To the number of characters Why would you, you say this publicly? The or the stories you can tell in Hidden Door. Today you can play Hidden Door anywhere you can access the web. Um, so you can play on desktop, you can play on your mobile device, you can play on a tablet. Is it called Hidden Door so the lawyers can't find you? I hope for their sake. <laughs>
I'm incorporating lucrative live service techniques to maximize the show's profitability. How would Battle Pass for a stream even work? With a gold tier pass, viewers can earn exclusive rewards, like viewing the show's trailers 1.5 seconds early and boosters for viewer rank experience. Look, I admire the initiative, but I think for now, let's just go ahead and table streams as service. Yeah, don't, Sadly, I, why would they stream this on Twitch? Are They're gonna get ideas. For those who've viewer rank 80. You can, however, unlock immediate access with 1,800 Sean points, purchasable for $9.99. You made show production a battle pass reward? Is anyone close to unlocking that? Killzor69 Blazed has just achieved viewer rank 58. Oh, God. O okay. Uh, uh, Dakota, find my wallet. And for now, uh, let's <laughs> I check think out you're going the to new Dungeon Crawler from the Don't great. Starve Devs at Clay Entertainment. Here's your first look at Dread Pilots. This is actually a great show. Yeah, the, uh, the writing's not, like, cringy. It's actually funny. World premiere. Oh, I didn't see it. Is this Clay? Nice. All right. Clay makes good stuff. Whoa, what is this? Looks like Sunless Sea. an old I think it was an NES game called like uh jet jetpack something Je like jettison jetpack Johnson or something like that it looks similar to this solar jetman that's what it was solar jetman that's what the controls and the combat kind of look like oh super god I hated it I could not get a hang of, get a hang of it at all I I the tried and tried but I couldn't do it Back. Grab back, Jet. This game is fun. I need to go back to it. For some reason, it didn't you grab me story-wise, but it's it's a solid game. Asthma angry, and it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. You gotta help these people. find me and if you do maybe i will tell you my secret the revelations must be earned don't starve yourself with excitement for dread pilots or you might leave a miasma worthy of a chronicle hey, hey that's pretty good that's good stuff thank you text generation coming up secret facilities that don't starve weapons development <laughs> Zombie experimentation, it's all under the corporate umbrella in this management sim. And you are the evil CEO. I mean, I can't blame you for diversifying, that's just good business sense. Let's take a look at Undead Inc. World Premiere. It's with great pleasure I introduce one of Enswell Medical's biggest success stories, Director Coleman. Thank you, and welcome to all of you who are starting your own franchises. Today I'm here to talk about building a thriving business. 
My apologies. There has been a development that requires my immediate attention. Um, Director Coleman, sir, we're hearing... Whatever your concerns may be, I'm handling it. Now, tend to your patience. <laughs> Structural integrity and power all hanging in there, sir. Extent of the outbreak unknown. Next move, director. Tell your men ETA five minutes. Dude, this looks awesome. What, what is this? Yeah, still waiting to see game footage unless this is it, which would be kind of cool. Shoot, yeah. Director Coleman. Hey, man, uh, sir. Are you okay? I got a little bitten, but I'm hanging in there, Director. I'm all good. They have a, a cure upstairs, eh? Sure. Head back up. There is a shot with your name on it. Thanks, man. A shot with your Lord, name on it. Oh, I wonder what's gonna. Oh. Janine, get the marketing team and those rookies back on the line in 10. Oh, and an espresso. Yes, sir. Thank you. And Janine, can I get something from my head? Of course, director. Name brand only. Not our stuff. Uh. Quality control issues downstairs. Is that fucking gameplay or not? No, I don't think so. I didn't think so either. World premiere. that okay hey look i've been looking through frank ai's data log and i found a file named confidential game trailer well, 44 code name a lot of all games. November, underscore final parenthesis final and parenthesis 2.0 underscore revised on altered MP4. alma that's now, what it is it's important not to lose the trust of your ai assistant so let's just watch it really quick DMCA, oh shit. Oh, is this the Invincible? No. Because I want to understand it someday. Or at least find as many answers as possible. Strong species. Humans. 
What kind of pizza is this? Buffalo chicken. So, there was life here before. Everything that happened here overwhelms me. Not every mission ends in success, Doctor. We have to save what we can. Save. Give me a sci-fi space mystery game and I'm happy, dude. This looks yep. good to me. We have to destroy it. Even if it means destroying everything. Where if I already wish this that? I missed anything, Coming Chad? Up, we'll see a yep, theme already on my wish list. <laughs> only days away. Releasing on PC later this week, Park Beyond is a spiritual successor to classics like Roller Coaster DMCA Tycoon, Fest. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Roller Coaster oh, apparently I missed DMCA Roller Fest. Coaster Altair 27, and Roller Coaster Oh, did you step away? Yeah, they Bowser. played some, okay, let's not some go off the rails. pop hits. Look. For a it's music funny, rhythm games. Is, we all know the games aren't the most balanced, because basically, carnies are OP. Luckily for you, our prizes are so much easier to win. Let's take a look at Park Beyond. Bikeman raves about this game. Do says you it's great. perceive the invisible really? thread that connects mm -hmm. us to each other? The emotions that unite us without to me, us I even realizing it? Said I wasn't interested. <laughs> the desire to move <laughs> forward, it's good. to surpass our limitations, to take on challenges greater than ourselves, all these feelings make us visioneers. Visioneers are architects who are dedicated to making their visioneers because Imagineers was taken. Empowered to achieve. Yep. Unless you're an AI in the script writing want game. To offer the world their most beautiful memories. Free spirits in search of adventure and new challenges. Indelible moments of amazement and laughter with those we love. Become a visioneer. Go beyond the fun. Huh. Stop trying to bomb with me, stepdad Ted. <laughs> As an AI, I have no need for material possessions. But good news. PC Gaming Show viewers can take advantage of the following promotional contest by following the instructions on the screen. If this product and or service stimulates your orbital cortex, follow the instructions on the screen. Bear. World premiere. Evil stirs in the depths of Gallowsmile. Three heroes step forth to contain the darkness within. A legendary fighter of peerless strength and skill. A cunning rogue full of deadly surprises. And a powerful Do not swing their weapons? The I think it's an auto shooter. Yep. Oh. Together, they are destined to confront the hordes of undead. And their deadly masters. Again and again. What's been the most successful auto shooter outside of Vampire Survivors? But what hope of Is there like a clear winner? The whispering For surely there Brotato, be no Brotato maybe? I was gonna say Brotato maybe. That's yeah. the Pathfinder game? Wait, no. The what? Old Survivors? Oh, no, yeah, that's not that the, is Pathfinder, wow. That's that, not the Pathfinder game, is that it? That is the Pathfinder game. No, 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 it's not. There's a different one. Okay. World premiere. <laughs> different one. Okay, okay. Introducing Diesel Legacy. Join the open beta now on Steam. Two versus two action. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is this a fighting game or a beat em up? But it's 2v2, so yeah, fighting game. Down, but not out. Local and online multiplayer. 
Real reminds match. me of the Worldwide rollback neck play. multiverses without the IP everywhere. Determine the fate of the Iron City. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> It's time we honor an overlooked hero, the noble delivery cyclist, powering uh -oh. the gig economy with their aching calves. Now, you might ask, hey, Sean, are you just feeling a little guilty because you gave your credit card details to the AI assistant and now someone has to deliver the 57 parcels you ordered before you noticed? In short, yes. But if this next exclusive is anything to go by, oh, dude. we'll all be saluting <laughs> would, the delivery I would workers be of this jack fine for nation. a paperboy remake. Let's take a look. Oh, man, and parcel core. It's not that, but man, that'd be awesome. Probably heavily inspired. World premiere. Oh my God! What? Hello, Inquisitive Fear. My name is Will, what? Will Barr, and that was an example Hi, of a Will. micro teaser. You see, when you're shilling on behalf of an obscure video game developer like Billy Good Entertainment, you have a finite amount of time to explain why discerning intellectual players <laughs> such as yourself uh, uh, should be excited about being thrust into the exciting high octane world of Parcel Core. That's right, escape the mundanity of daily life and slip into the spandex of one of our many colorful bicycle messengers. Embrace the gig economy and forget the security, stable salary and basic workplace rights less cool jobs offer as you race through town, weaving through alleys, defying gravity as you ride up walls, leap from rooftops, startle pigeons. Well, it's kind of like a career in video game development. Except without all the cool traversal stuff. So yeah, really just the exploitation. <laughs> but I digress. Sign a casual work agreement with one of three rival courier corporations, all vying to become the most profitable business in town. But be warned, a maniacal scheme is a foot that threatens more than just the business model our protagonists operate under. So it's up to you, bicycle courier, to deliver this foot-long grilled chicken, cheese and trizzo melt and save the world. a two-man studio based in Sweden, working on the game Fableloom, currently available in Early Access. What is this? Fabled him? What, what do you do? Welcome to Fabled him. Sorry about the pigs. It's like settlers? Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Hello, micro friends. We have a new mission, soldier. Let's go. Gonna need a monto! Oh man, someone out. ordered me a brownie? Now I gotta eat this? Oh. Oh, don't mind Sean. He's just entering our PC Game Pass giveaway. We've got a bunch of one month subscriptions for new members to try the service. To get a chance of procuring one, visit the URL on screen now. This is uh that that's that's um not Mega Man and one. I'm so sorry, Chad. The pets are driving me crazy. I had to get some for Aaron. And I'm all I'm back. What did we miss? Why is everyone saying poor Co? I 
just am in awe of how blatant this is down to the music. This is the third or fourth of this game, is it? I never heard of it until this, honestly. They're pretty good. I remember playing the first one. Some people that made the original Mega Man are on that, right? Maybe. Or something? I don't know. Sure. I just know Before it had co-op in the first one. I remember playing previews, it. I've generated a simple tactic to improve the show's revenue stream. Well, yeah, great. Tell me more. I've allowed viewers to pay a small fee for a bespoke on-screen shout-out. Got good 228 rights. Great to be watching PC Gaming Show once again. Excellent work, Sean and Co. Hey, hey, I'm touched. And a little wealthier. Keep them coming. See Blaze Paladins writes, did Sean actually fire his team? Dick move, bro. <clears throat> look, look, you have to understand that this show needs to focus on long-term sustainability. Fired by Sean23 writes, I have swum the blood oath. My vengeance will not be denied. Okay, <laughs> looks like that's it. Our shout outs feature is broken. I'm so sorry, that's gonna be all for shout outs. I haven't logged any errors, Sean. Well, I'm seeing red flags across the board and it's a real tragedy, just can't be helped. Just like I can't help wanting to see more previews. <clears throat> and with that- How do I read this show so far? Jar's new sci -fi it's been good. Game, the, the, Sean and um, Frankie put on like some of the best post parts of the show for sure. <clears throat> the show is really good, but the games they're showing are, are like, you know, they're kind of a little hit and missy, I'd say. Yeah. But Sean and Frankie are top of their field, to be honest. They're amazing. Oh, hey. We know these guys, don't we? World premiere. I don't know. This looks to be a co-op shooter. Green Hell, that's who they are. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, uh, this game that we're looking at right now? I think so. Is by the Green Hell people. I like Green Hell a lot. Wait, what? <laughs> I have no idea. What the hell? Hmm. Wish list now and figure out what the fuck this game is with us. Because <laughs> we have no idea. In the lost Caribbean oh. sea was a captain mighty. Mordecai was his name. He succumbed to the white flame. His treasure was lost and his crew was tossed. Now is the day cursed pirates have their way. Okay. That's the life we live. Come along for the trip. When plans go astray, we find us a way. We put them to a stop that gives them the choke. We're a cursed crew and Marty's our ship. Soul magic restores our crew from before, yes, before. Black pearls in our chest, let us finish the quest now. This treasure we will find with our powers combined. Our worth we will show to our captain below. <laughs> the Inquisition blocks our way, they see us as prey. Ignatia is their leader. You do well to exceed her. The treasure she pursues across the ocean blue. She'll conquer the brine for her grand design. That's the life we live. Come along for the trip. When that's so strange, we find us a way. We put them to a stop and give them the chop. We're a curse group as far as our ship. Cool. I'm excited to see all the TikToks that come out of that song. <laughs> World.
that's just, that's not good. Nah, they're fine. vehicle that works over rocky terrain are you watching death stranding are you watching <laughs> exo rally championship might be racing its way across the stars but it's already raced its way into my heart uh -huh. anyways if you're not aware i've got something of a history with the real-time strategy genre and funnily enough at labs like DeepMind. Those same RTS games just so happen to be a valuable testing ground for world-leading AI research. Hmm, curious. Can it be just a coincidence, then, that I'd end up the kind of man to name himself an AI visionary? I mean, probably. <laughs> but what's no coincidence is my excitement for the eagerly anticipated RTS from former Warcraft and Starcraft devs at Frost Giant Studios. It's Stormgate. And today, we don't just get the chance to get some exclusive first look at some Stormgate gameplay. That's me. Yeah. But we're also joined by Frost Giant's president and game director, Tim Campbell, here to tell us exactly how Stormgate will delight all minds artificial or otherwise. Cool. Thanks so much for joining be us, right back. Tim. Thanks, it's great to be here. Now, I've been following Stormgate for years, but for those of us who haven't, what is Stormgate? Stormgate is our modern take on the classic real-time strategy game formula. It's what we think of as a spiritual successor to franchises like Warcraft, Starcraft, Command and & Conquer. And real-time strategy games are, are the type of game where you can control an entire battlefield. So this classic RTS formula includes harvesting resources, building sprawling bases, oh. commanding huge armies on the battlefield. What is it about Stormgate that's new? We believe that, that the, the first RTS time genre we've seen any gameplay chat should be enjoyed by players of all skill levels. And so we've put a lot of effort into making sure that Stormgate feels good, whether you're a pro with high technical skill and you love competitive play, or whether it's something that you just want to be able to relax with and experience a story. Now, Tim, I understand that you brought for all of us, but in particular for me, a present to show today. What are you going to show, Tim? We are going to show gameplay from the pre-alpha of Stormgate. Yeah. Now this is something that we are big believers in at Frost Giant. We wanna share this current state of the game today. Let's take a look. Oh, Tim, I'm so excited. And right away, this looks like Aren't an RTS. you watching oh, other this is fucking the showcases? To a 1v1 match. Well, what? You see what they're doing? Oh. They're the showing the fucking the games while they're, 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 they're interviewing the guy. So they actually build them by take three notes. This is not around. that difficult. <laughs> and awesome. you can see them. I'm having a hard time hearing them. They can have an army that goes out on the field to fight. Yeah, oh, and sorry. I mean, right here, we see in the corner coming up, this is, this looks like a scout unit. Yeah, that is literally a cybernetic dog with laser eyes. It is called the scout, <laughs> okay? It's designed for early game. It's a unique unit to the human faction. Right. And you can see him now running through the base trying to see what information he can find out about his enemy. Yeah, I mean, scouting and information is such an important part of RTS games. It really is, and this is something that we've embraced early game. The scout God, unit has been designed so it can like actually Starcraft. sense units beyond its sight radius. So oh, it's a, it's awesome. especially the, useful early The on. color scheme and landscape so kind of reminds me of like League of Legends a little bit. Of Am I off? What are we seeing? No. Well, what we're seeing right okay. here is the Red Scout getting surprised by a group of blue troops coming through the Light Force, which is the new train type and the twist on on the tactical battlefield here. And how do these light forests work? The light forests let smaller units move through them. They have concealment. Ah. It's allowed blue to raid red's base, in which case red is barely getting uh, a turret built with their speed building from their workers, which is another a human faction advantage. And they're about to pop out a couple extra defenders here from their mech base. So we got these huge mechs, and I mean, just visually, it looks like they are countering the heck That's a good point, smiling big. Infantry, but can these red mechs fit through the forest? Something no, you can port to build. tablet they're easily. Units. They're yep. designed We're to still in the RTS? Guns ah, to go through nice. of enemies, but they can't fit through the Great. light forest, which Blue knew and used to his advantage. Okay, so we're in mid-game. This is normally where you make some big tech decisions. Mm -hmm. What's Red up to? You're seeing Red commit to a tech path that gives them big battlefield mechs and air units like this evac. And it looks like they're just dropping right on top of Blue, who is killing a, a chicken? What's the chicken there, Tim? <laughs> yeah, that's a giant chicken with a Viking helmet on it. Uh, use your imagination. Stormgate's in pre-alpha, and that's art that we haven't gotten to yet. But imagine <laughs> it as a big <laughs> Mad Max raider. Ah, it's the most threatening placeholder art for now. And oh, I see red diving onto blue, and hey, picking back up into the air transport. That's some classic high-level micro. It is, and it's really important for Stormgate that we maintain a high skill ceiling so that players can express themselves on the battlefield by right. maneuvering and how they interact with the battlefield. 
And here we have the final fight of the game. And it looks like blue is coming up against those mechs. Red is trapped on the other side of the trees. Oh, wait, they can blast through them now? And blue's dodging these enormous shots. And we can also see blue swarming in from both sides. This is not looking good for red. <laughs> no, it's pretty grim. Red, red is on the ropes right here. And they've been outmaneuvered. They're caught in the corner here between two different forces coming in with a yeah. mobile pincer. Man, and of course, there's the GG's. The most classic ending to an RTS game, GG. Get Tastosis on that stat. Outside of 1v1, what's coming up for Stormgate? What you've seen today is just the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more in store. We're going to be shaking revealing myself. a bunch of stuff about Stormgate the rest of this year. We're introducing new modes. We have a three player versus AI cooperative mode. We have team based competitive modes. We're going to be sharing information about our storyline and campaign. Uh, we have new factions beyond the humans that you just saw oh, today. God, what is my but kid Tim, doing in there? One second. What if I <laughs> want to play the game right now? If you want to play the game as soon as possible, you wish list Stormgate on Steam and you go to playstormgate.com to sign up for the beta. We're starting closed testing in July. Once again, go to Steam and wish list Stormgate. Tim, thank you so much again for joining us, not just to talk about the 1v1 footage you shared, but the future content plans of Stormgate that makes the RTS players' dreams come true which might not be your dreams. I mean, your dreams might be filled with gloriously grimy Deus Ex-inspired sci-fi fisticuffs with a fiendishly Star Wars vibe to it. If so, get a load of this latest trailer for Fortune's Run. I think that guest had just giant, like, testicles or something because that stance he had, he was... Yeah. He was airing them out or something. It was his power stance, man. Ah, yeah. This isn't against TOS, right? What, Doc oh. in the spaceship? Oh. We're talking about a man's oh, giant yeah. testicles. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> Either one. Zeke's just doing Zeke things. They call the dying sun. It's been the room of many poker. I was gonna say. I thought I said I saw Team Fortress in there somewhere. What was that? Oh, wow. Whatever. Oh, Man, Team Fortune. I oh, okay, thank the great you. crusade towards which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all Forget. beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. It's been a long time since we had a World War II game. Let's go on, but let's get back to it. To the most like densely populated video game <clears throat> set piece. I feel like it is. Keep moving. We've taken a German opening. Space games, fantasy games. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. He 
looks really upset. <laughs> oh, that's hell that loose. Okay. All right, then. Um, okay. I'm going to stare menacingly on the battleground. <laughs> And we take a hard left turn for this next game. What do you mean? This is World War II, but told through the lens <laughs> of, uh, you know, anime. I got nothing for this. Now this looks like a Z game. From Cartoon Network. I don't know what the fuck it is. The mobile game, Ready? apparently. Mullet Mad Jack. Wish list now. Love it. Guacho? Or Gacho? Sorry, Gacho. That's a good name. Gacho in the Grassland. What are these games? What is going on here? Wow, that, that Z game releases in four days. That's awesome. Is this the rapid fire segment? Seems like, yeah. Another montage. As an AI, I have no need for material possessions, but good news. PC gaming show viewers can take advantage of the following promotional contest by following the instructions on the screen. If this product and or service stimulates your orbital cortex, follow the instructions on the screen. Frank, yeah, we've seen impressive, almost like unrealistic tech on display today. It's just a shame our viewers at home can't get their hands on some of that bleeding edge hardware. Your concerns are both unnecessary and convenient, Sean. As the long-term vanguard of gaming, Alienware continues to offer high-end PC hardware. Considering their extraterrestrial origins, it comes as no surprise. By the way, look, I don't know how to tell you this, Frankie, but they're not actually <clears throat> made by aliens. Websites in my training model this. contain compelling evidence to the contrary, Sean. The truth is out there. Great. But let's do some truth telling of our own and hear what Alienware is offering the folks at home. Okay. That's super Alienware cool. Alienware has been a part um, of my so professional life for this a was while. just uh, released here. Thrilled to see the team at Inexile revealing Clockwork Revolution. When the project is led by game director Chad Moore and principal match. designer Jason Anderson, just kind of like who just happened to have created one of the greatest steampunk RPGs of all time, Arcanum. So Wait, what was the last word? Arcanum. It's like one of oh, like oh, literally yeah. my favorite <laughs> CRPG. That's Freaking probably why amazing. everyone is saying our game. Don't miss your shot. Alienware similar. giveaway yeah. goodness. Scan that code oh my now. God. I mean, Frank, that is can you believe this? Actually not. Oh, gosh. Alienware M18 laptop with an Intel Core i9 processor for the fine price point of free? Oh, it's enough to get anyone's blood pumping. As you know, Sean, I'm a network of predictive algorithms and generative software. I am fundamentally incapable of belief. Look, I, I understand. I also don't have blood. But I... Would you like oh, you're going to answer a question? God, no. No, absolutely not anything but that. Let's move on to literally anything else. So, what's next? Uh, well, this is a little awkward. Let's have a look at some incoming DLC for Vampire Survivors. Oh boy. <laughs> what if we gave it a spin? Uh-oh. <clears throat> what is this, like the random gambo? Golden Devil, Cosmic Finger! <laughs> okay. Okay. Game's wild, man. Yeah, making tons of money, good for them. 
we are only a couple months out from the full release of Baldur's Gate 3. I literally oh, here cannot we go. tell you how excited I am to try out some of the character builds <laughs> I've got going on up here. I'm thinking of running like a mage tank kind of vibe. And Wait, Frank, can you generate like an awesome character art for me in like a D&D style? Like, look, I want to be a wizard, like fully Gandalf out with like a staff and like <laughs> blasting spells like that. Can you like give me a sample piece of art? One moment. Here you are, Sean. <laughs> oh, dear God. This was generated in seconds, while a professional artist's work would take hours, if not days. Yes, that's, that, that is, is true. It's hard to tell that's this wasn't really the work good. of a trained professional, but do you have any professional artist work, you know, just to like compare? I do. Thanks to the YouTube animators extraordinaire at MASH. Here's an original animation for Larian's Borders Gate 3. My fellow adventurers, the road to Baldur's Gate has been long. We have fought cultists of a strange new god, battled packs of fearsome gnolls, and gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with creatures from beyond this plane. And today we faced our greatest foe yet. He was just so strong. And I think his blood was acid. I'm not sure how that even works, like, anatomically. Tomorrow, we find higher ground, then rain down upon him with 100 arrows. No, first, I will incapacitate him with a fit of hideous laughter. Then, we will fill his bog with grease and set it on fire. And if he attempts to escape the blaze, fear not, for I will keep my eye out oh, for him. please don't. Even Lazelle's puns are more amusing. Among Githyanki, I am considered extremely humorous. Enough! <laughs> Must defeat this foe. Yes. Somewhere what a within these he twisted got... swamps dwells a hag who possesses a potent potion, an elixir that could grant us the ability to converse with the creature. However, attaining it will necessitate a trade. Give me his spleen. Steal your nerves, friends. I will now attempt to reason with the creature. Most mighty beast, though you defeated us once, <laughs> we have returned good. to seek your <laughs> guidance. Impart your knowledge upon us and teach us the source of your power. It's here, Frog. Oh, I didn't know you speak Frog. Gosh, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I'm so embarrassed. You know, ever since the hag turned me into a frog, I've been down in the dust. <laughs> 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 That is a that is a D and D move right there. Huh. Don't spend time gabbing when you could be stabbing. Oh my God! Cities are incredibly hard to make in RPGs because you have to make sure that every single nook and cranny has something to do. You have to make sure that it's different, so you have to be incredibly creative. Oh, look at it! It's so Baldur's pretty! Gate, the was really going to wow. be the thing that people were going to be talking That's about. Huge. The city of Baldur's Gate is seamless, which uh, it originally wasn't. You only can judge the game when you have all oh, the components Oh, it's seamless! Together. And if the mix doesn't work, we start over. At some point, he said, Holy like, crap. can't we just connect everything? And uh, that, was, uh, that was a very interesting day. One of the things that that's done is it's brought a level of believability and immersion uh, and also complexity that wouldn't have been there otherwise. Now it was this seamless, giant organism, and it really, really felt good. It's being able to look out of a window and see down the city slopes, so you're seeing down toward the docks, and you're like, one of my teammates might be down there. They might be running around down there. We worked on it uh, as a painting, almost. You, you start with a sketch, a very basic line, and then you just start adding layers What does layers seamless mean? It's not, it's not in different sections. It's one giant city. city onto the screen. Yeah, there's no loads uh, or anything. In yeah. So, uh, Dude, look how big that is. That is more immersive, richer, has more texture to it. It feels like you are walking around a place where there are lots and lots of people living their actual lives. You have crowds that are walking around, can talk to pretty much anybody, and they react to every single thing. It's, it's very alive in that sense. Every person that you meet in Baldur's Gate uh, has got a story to them. All the things that you have done up to the city really matter. You can really feel the conclusion of everything just gathering there. We actually build anticipation through all these characters that you've met, through all these situations that you've been through. 
all the stories that you have been following, and all the decisions that you've been making, they all come to fruition uh, in that lower city. And the great thing is, if you so choose, you can be another bad thing that's happening to the city. You can arrive and be like, this place is on fire, and then you can throw petrol all over it. During production, we felt like the city was our was our destination. We spent, I think, three times, four times as much effort on the city than we originally planned. But the result, the result, the, the, the feeling of walking in there is just fantastic. You have this constant jostling of things that are very much of the real world, and then you can indulge in the completely fantastical. And then when you walk into the city, the noise of everybody talking to each other, the knowledge that everywhere you look, you can go there and you can do something, the knowledge that you can fly through it, it's great. So the thing that I was the most afraid of when we started making this game turned out to be the thing that I'm the most proud of. Dude, that is fucking <laughs> That's awesome. crazy. That is, oh my God, dude. That's so crazy. I'm like blown oh, away. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for that game. Larian Studios breaks the classic RPG series out of a two- I was aroused. I am ultra aroused. Baldur's Gate 3 <laughs> finally releases on August 31st. Up next, we're forging ahead with more fantasy as flame-headed fighters face ferocious foes in a co-op action roguelike. After all, what's a roguelike without an onslaught of algorithmic terrors? Need more I feel like there's a lot of that going on around here lately. Anyways, <laughs> here's the latest trailer for Ember Knights. Dude, that looks insane. <laughs> Koa will have one day to play Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, there's a three day head start. So we're gonna have like five days, maybe. <laughs> yeah, four or five days. Yeah. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. What is it put it up against? Starfield. Uh-oh. It sounds very DMCA. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a cover, right? You can just delay Starfield. <laughs> Good. Why not divide morning and afternoon streams? I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet for Starfield and Baldur's Gate. I don't know. We may do like morning and afternoons. We've got cozy streams now. We'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something World out. World premiere. I, what, I, what I do is I have two hands. And I have two computers. So there I'm thinking go. I may try to like just play them in parallel. Makes sense. What? I think the song needs more whoops. Yeah, I, I'm not getting enough bass in my ears. What? I'm gonna file a harassment order or something against this song. Holy what? crap. What? So much HR in my ears. Go! Oh, or bass in my ears. Go! Oh, I'm tired. is this game? Dubstep! Oh, it's Terra Tech Worlds, actually. Would you like the endless loop of terror, death, repeat in the upcoming stealth extraction horror, Macabre? In Macabre, you and your friends will team Does this show been going on for an hour and 45 minutes? Venturing I got an hour and 49, yeah. But, damn, dude. An hour and 44, yeah. Anomalies. They're killing it. A great way to enjoy the outdoors. I think last year's was Built in about two-ish hours. This exclusive debut cold. will be out later this Let's year was in early access. Let me look at the bot. They're doing great. I mean, this show is like, this is super entertaining. World premiere. Yeah, last year's VOD was two hours, 17 minutes, so Seriously, don't have we're on pace. Signal. Not even one VOD is nothing. I can't get it. So, I forgot to mention, there's like a super weird, scary thing getting around inside the ring. The hell was that, a bear? Have you ever heard a bear? Is the thawn ending before? today? To I don't know. I won. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Come on. You freeze to death out here. I suppose you're looking for the lodge. 
Here, take this. I call it the Atomic Space Shifter. Yeah, if anything goes wrong, not that it will, <laughs> I can pull you back out. A lot of folks have come up here looking Why for Why does deadpan comedy it's work weird. so much it's better with like an Australian time accent time attached to it? Here. Or a, or a, or a, a New Zealand, either one. It just does. Those are the rules. We gotta find the others, dude. Well, that guy's dead. Shady. What? Jesus. My God, dude. Is it above him? Wait, what? Okay. Haha! Hmm. Uh -huh. I can't believe it worked. This is it. This is the key to. Ah, you're alive. Ready to go back in? Okay. Arcane, I've probably already read it. World premiere. We thought we had billions of years before our son died. We were wrong. Thousands of us answered the call, rallying to save those we can. Every one of our ships, a ray of hope. Captain, it is up to you to find us a new home, so we can plant the future seeds of humankind. Dude, Team 17 has had a lot of good games coming out from the looks of it. Or a lot of interesting games, I should say. Yep. As great as Earthless looks, it makes you wonder, how are we in the real world going to fare when our big, beautiful sun enters its twilight years? Me? I'm optimistic. Who knows what we'll achieve by then? Every billionaire-funded space rocket that detonates moments after takeoff is one more <laughs> step on the winding road of progress. Wow, Day 9. Up next... Tie on those togas and make wow, merry I'm looking with at the, fine like, wine. Game stills on Steam, and they didn't show door. any of it. I don't Here's think. a first look at Nova Roma. World premiere. That's Blackbird Interactive, the original Homeworld Dev Studio. Really? Okay, that's interesting. Day Nine's such an awesome host. He is actually phenomenal. Yes. Oh, wow. Do you have a source for that, Estegard? Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, Microsoft's currently holding an Xbox media briefing in LA. They just announced that you'll be able to soon, uh, quote, play your PC Game Pass catalog on all the devices supported by NVIDIA's GeForce Now. From The Verge. That's a pretty big fucking deal. Wow. What the hell am I wearing? I'm wearing Majima's tattoos from Yakuza. Yeah, go ahead, Estegard.
<laughs> Look at that lion. <laughs> Oh, Majima missed them? Oh no, I skinned him. He's dead. He won't. He's not gonna miss anything anymore. World premiere. Oh. The Great War is over. All oh, we want God. is to return. Yeah, so home. many world premieres. This uh, this show. Yeah. Dude, the PC game show this year is awesome. I think this other. My lord, be dude. Twenty-one to the world newborn premieres? Czechoslovakia. We fought for. Brothers and sisters. Dude, this looks like relatively well-produced, real-life stuff. What is this? None of us thought this part of the journey would be the most difficult. We still hope. To oh, is see this Call of Heroes again? Oh, that's in game. Oh, is this is last dream. Across the endless snowfields of Siberia, through territory disputed by the red and white armies. Whoa. In Train game. Winter. Far from our loved ones. Outnumbered by enemies, we fight to make our way. Surrounded by wilderness, we manage in order to survive. This is our last chance. Our last train home. I was half expecting it to like the camera turn around and some dude in a computer chair like wearing squad tactics with historic <laughs> inspiration last train really? home is based on real events in the aftermath of world war one however historians wow. continue to uncover records describing train passengers traveling homewards some dating as recently as 2023 whether any train home is truly the last remains the subject of academic debate history is clear on one thing though puppets can't be trusted as proof, watch as Sesame Street meets survival horror in my friendly neighborhood. Okay, that's Hang on, it's Kyle. Premise. I know we're dropping this on you last minute, but we need you to head down to the Sunrise Street studio lot. The antenna activated itself last night and started broadcasting that old puppet show over the news. You need to turn that thing off. You gotta get this done, man. Bye. This looks the like for me. The day is always the worst. Raise the curtain, bring up the lights. The neighborhood is coming to town. Oh my God, it's Ernie. Hey, stay back. Let's do this. Did they get the main character like Robin Williams arm hair? <laughs> like, or am yeah. I just seeing shit? No, I saw that too. I mean, I dig it. Oh yeah, they do. He does. He's like, he's a, a her suit gentleman. Okay. That's I'm a, in. A, July 18th, day one. Oh, That's a premise. Uh, I think I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? <laughs> wow. A sprint victory and points up for grabs right here. Demo. There's a demo available for that too. Push as much as you can. Cubby. 
Can they push more, I wonder? They can't afford to sit back and relax now. Are we in trouble or not? Oh, and that's a crash! I push now, thanks for my push now. And McLaren with a great overtake. Stay right here, because we're just getting started. Those animations look great, actually. I'm so yeah, I'm so hyped right now. I've, oh my god. Yeah, I love, I love racing cars. I love managing cars. Hey Frank just... AI, how are the metrics looking? Are we <laughs> like doing numbers? Yeah, I follow a couple of streamers who are desperately into F1 shit. Oh yeah. Adjustment to target under I mean, it's huge. Segments There's... of our audience demographic. Yeah. Massive Shall I sport? execute it? Well, hell yeah, let's do it. Ah, cornering the VTuber. Hey, market. this show just smart, got really smart. good. I'm just not really sure this is my vibe, but since we're on a time crunch, let's see what's next for Subnautica Likes in Space with a trailer for Breath Edge 2. Breath Edge 2? Yeah! I can't believe it! Yeah! Ah. Here we World go! Premier. Dude! I love awesome. the Breath Edge. People just popped off like crazy. So they're taking it out of space and putting it on a planet for a little bit at least. What's up? I hope the immortal chicken's still in it. Well, uh, that's not good. There he is! <laughs> that is quite a booty. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, man. Yep. Breath Edge oh, 2. Wish listing oh. immediately. Not up yet. Hey, Gassy, how are you feeling about. Uh, oh, I got, I, I got it. The old Starfield. You have to type more of the word, I think. I will. Uh. What? The hell of is all going the game on trailers. What's that? So what the hell is going on in this game? Oh, a JRPG? I guess, yeah. It's, like it's just crazy about that. The game trailers that we've seen that one fucking weird indie space game maybe woo man there are so many great video games in this year's show there are. frank ai what do we know about sand sand is a fine granular substance composed oh of this is what we were teased earlier it's finer yeah. than gravel but cool oh, sand sandland or whatever Yes. I think it's just called Sand. It's also oh. a brand new survival game set in an alternate history where Austro-Hungarian soldiers oh. smuggle space salvage across alien deserts. I don't understand that sentence. Would you like to hear more about sand types? Oh, no need. I'm about to know plenty. Let's take a look at Sam. World premiere. I, want, I see that it said probably made in Ukraine, but I want one that says like embarrassingly made in the unit in the US or something like that. I'd love to see the opposite see, of that. Uh, <laughs> if you comment on my freedoms again, we're going to have to have words. <laughs> Ashamedly made in Canada. 
We're sorry. Yeah, that would just be, we're sorry. This was made in Canada. <laughs> yeah, our bad. I want meat and beer. Is this train game? Oh, dude, what is this? Sand game. Yo! Here we go. Wicked Wicked Wild Wild, Wild West. <laughs> Oh, are we going to get to see any gameplay? Absolutely not. Please? No. Oh, no. I wish I was doing it. No. That's the only thing I haven't liked about this show, is there, there has been a significant lack of gameplay. Sand is a vast open world PvPvE game where you explore the fallen we planet of Sophie, build gigantic tramplers to conquer the environment, fill with mystical anomalies, monuments, and other players. Dune huh. Awakening. It's, the is it an extraction MMO shooter? Adaptation of the classic sci-fi series. Oh, that could be cool. Frank AI. What have you got for us for the big finale? If you like, huh. I can fill the room with sand. <sighs> God. That's a little <laughs> literal, don't you think? But what if we had, like, costumes? Oh, dude's got some really cool costumes. We have the still suits, the royal garments. Oh, my God, I could dress up maybe as, like, a giant sandworm. It will require three million teraflops of processing power to render you as a sandworm, Sean. <sighs> I mean, don't worry about it. We can... We can skip the costuming. It's just something that like Frankie and I used to do. Like, not you, like the real Frankie with the fun hair who's not a computer. Oh man, there was this one year where she was a shark <laughs> and then, oh, oh, and she was like a mech pilot and oh, I had a spaceship. And there was this other time with Tolga's and I had this really nice robe. Anyways, just forget it. I'm living in the past. I shouldn't even miss this stuff. I mean, we're adults, right? Frankie Ward? Do you still want to do the costumes bit, Sean? I want to do the gym dress a bit so bad. I'm sorry I tried to fire everyone and make money with computers. Shut up and put the costume on. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> Would you do the honors? Gladly. Is he a Bene Gesserit or a Mentad? What is he? With a team making a survival MMO that's more sought after than a suitcase stuffed with spice melange. It's June Awakening. Oh, he's, he's the Baron. Oh, he's the Baron. Baron, okay. Yeah. Baron right, Harkin. okay. Hello, me. Wow. Nothing in our Conan encompasses his doom. A drone? Yeah, it's about the. Never mind. I'm not. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've not seen the Dune movie. No. I've read the book. My name's I'm the creative director on. Now that Awakening. matters anymore. So Dune Awakening is a survival, open world, massively multiplayer game. It is a game where players are invited to explore the world of Dune. They involve themselves in politics, they involve themselves in intrigue, they involve themselves in combat, they have to survive on the most dangerous planet in the universe. And through this experience, they come to know the I want to get ate by a sandworm. Can I do that? Are you sure about Is that? that? A... I do. So when Dune Awakening begins, you are a castaway on the planet in the deep desert. And all you oh. have is a knife that you've made out of scrap metal. And you need to creep into enemy camps and knife them in the oh. back and steal the water from their steel suits. By the end of the game, perhaps you're running a guild. You have a oh. fleet of vehicles, ornithopters flying in formation, sand bikes cruising across the desert beneath them, tanks kicking up a cloud of dust as you drive to a spice blow in the distance in order to harvest with your guild. And you see in the distance another guild coming towards you and just as you clash, you hear the rumble of a sandworm oh. coming. That's combat in Dune Awakening. Well, that seems kind of cool. 
My name is Viljar Sommerbach. I'm the game director on the Oh, it sounds Awakening. like Gordon Liz, though, I hate to say you it. You start yeah. out in the desert, surviving, clinging to life, and in the end, you might become someone like the Baron Harkonnen, and then you try to cling to power. Arrakis is the most dangerous planet in the universe. Uh, surviving on Arrakis means that you need to prepare for sandstorms, you need to find water, it's a constant threat against uh, survival. Uh, the sandworm, every time you try to cross the desert, the sandworm will come. You will sometimes uh, outrun it, sometimes you may not. The year is 10191. Dune Awakening is built upon a foundation of five pillars. Survival, which is obviously everything you'd expect to see in a survival game. It's water discipline, it's the surviving the sandstorms that sweep across Arrakis. Then we have politics and intrigue, which speaks to the faction gameplay of the game. It's about, you know, siding with one of the factions, thinking about how they work together, <laughs> perhaps. Very bold of you to, the to have computer nerds then fighting against each other called Infinite intrigue. which is one of the things I'm most excited <laughs> politics about, is and how intrigue. the world changes over time I'll be right back. We have a concept called the Corolla Storm and when it sweeps across the landscape the sands shift revealing new points of interest hiding others making the game renewed every week then we have combined arms combined arms <laughs> so in Ganger for my chat said do the sandworm raid and all that drops as a bottle of fucking water and then the goddamn together, priest rolls need on it sandbox combat experience and finally we have expression and customization which is really more than just talking about like the visual Expression and customization, which of course we have armor sets and clothing and Jordan a, a Diablo 4 is not an MMO. But in addition to that, it's really about play the way you want to play. Do you want to be a trader? You can do that. Do you want to be a fighter? Of course you can do that. Do you want to Don't be a spy? Go there. Maybe that's the gameplay you're looking for. All of these things built into these pillars. <laughs> So the journey of the player, we've divided that into four parts. Um, we think of them as survive, protect, oh, man. expand, control. The survive part means that you're if, like, you can play all the like the itself, and you're clinging on to like life. the different like the classes the would be like phase, fighter. You have gathered uh, some stuff. Mentat, you might have a base, uh, 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 but you also want to make sure that nobody else comes to, quiz, to not take it away from um, you. So you try to build defenses and make sure that your base is in the clear. Then in the expansion, you lift your gaze and you look around and you see that others have stuff as well and you might want to take their stuff. I, I do uh, like then stuff. Big in the control stuff. phase, you may find yourself being a part of a guild or even a leader Thank of you. a guild. Jesus. Then the goal is to control the flow of spies on Arrakis. However, or a Sardaukar, that'd be awesome. Uh, there's always someone lurking around the corner. Can you really trust your second in command? So the goal of the control phase is that you are clinging to control. Whenever you get into combat in the desert of Arrakis, try to get it over with quickly, because not only are you fighting human combatants, but the planet Arrakis itself is the greatest protagonist there is. And with that, the PC Gaming Show 2023 is done. And what a show it was. And uh, what a lesson for me, honestly. AI excels at plenty, but only an absolute doofus think he can replace that human touch. I mean, you'd have to be an irredeemable bozo, like a real human dumpster to pull that. So uh, that's the end of Frank AI. You are uh, getting the band back together. I mean, yeah, if we get another show next year, then yeah, you betcha. If. Well, you know, Dakota, you guy's pretty smart. I mean, I think he's actually the CEO now of PC Gamer and all subsidiary publications and IPs. So I think he's got some really great ideas, but he also caddies for some very influential people on the golf course. Life comes at you fast, I guess. Wait. Either way, see you next year. Bye bye. <laughs> the camera bye. guy was actually. He's bye. the CEO? Really? I, I don't know. I don't know. What's what Frankie doing? I don't think she can <laughs> move her hands. Very well. <laughs> that outfit. She's saying goodbye like a marionette. Camera speed. Hold on. My lips are sweating. Okay. Here it comes. Okay, here it is. Everyone quiet on set. Here I come. This is a big moment. Okay. Necessary data acquired. <laughs> we want them to be able to react in the middle of a battle with right. maneuvering, with using abilities, with targeting things more carefully. And so we've tr slowed it down just a little bit to give players that breathing room to be able to express their skill. I don't know what to do now.
imagine if I continued reading on that take that was above average. Imagine that. That's not all oh, fucking balls. Here we go, one more time. <laughs> oh, hold on. I have a rogue shoelace. No! no! It's solved. I solved the problem. Talent took care of it by himself. Talent is an adult. I'm ready. Tell me when. Talent is an adult. <laughs> if there was an award for being unbearably cute while also being unbearably fun, there's no question it'd be down to the wire between Critter Cove and yours truly. <laughs> Now, I've been following Stormgate for years at this point, but for those of us who aren't me, tell us, what the fuck was that intro? <laughs> <laughs> Frank AI, how are the metrics looking? We're attracting considerable viewership, John. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh. <laughs> Holy fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I really apologize. <laughs> Just rip Don't ass. get ice cream next year. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Don't eat ice, ice cream mouth. next it's year. Ice. No, breathe firmly out of my mouth. It's very difficult to... Sorry. <laughs> Dude, did it hit you? I'm so sorry. I really apologize, everyone. I I farted in it. It, it. it smells like an abandoned pig farm up here on set. It's... <laughs> Oh. Close to the end of it, you could have farted in the makeup chair with your ball cap on. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Frank AI, how are the metrics looking? <laughs> That's great, dude. Dude, just amazing. Is that that is that is PC Gamers Game Show, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 They uh, unless I missed it, I was standing up a lot for that. They didn't have as much like um, ads this time around. Didn't seem good. Like, nope. It was it was like straight and so many world premieres, man. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. So yeah. many world premieres. Um, like that was that was crazy. The only one I remember is uh, Alienware. Oh, there was an Alienware one. Oh, yeah. they they did that uh, giveaway or whatever, right? Yeah. The QR code or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess if I can't oh, remember it, then that's good because that means they yeah. were well implemented yeah there was enough world premiere shit that I, people were like coming over to the channel and going hey good job on the world premiere stuff <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> well cool that's that show been a good day this Dude, was a, wow. this was a great day i wish every day was like today yeah a lot of good stuff shown yeah yeah today was today was like yeah just amazing 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 I want to Ooh. watch that uh, Baldur's Gate trailer again to see the city. I, I can't believe how big that city is. That looks yeah. crazy. Actually wild. All right, well, gentlemen. I think that's, uh, that's the last here. showcase for me. You guys are, are watching a couple more together, I think, Ubisoft and uh, the Xbox like extended thing or whatever, but okay. I don't think I'm going to yes. jump in for those. So cool. this I, Jeff Chella I have done today. has okay. been really fun. Oh, you're not going to watch any of them, Zeke? Probably not, no. Okay, okay. you're welcome to join us well, if you change your mind. The Ubisoft yeah. thing happens tomorrow, my my one day off, so I'm, I'm not going to well, no, be here. We got um, Ubi Forward is tomorrow at 1. Capcom Showcase is tomorrow at 6. I don't care. Xbox Games Showcase Extended, where they're apparently going to have more games, is at 1 on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, VR, Upload VR is on Wednesday at 2 p.m., and then RGG Summit is on Thursday. Yep. I mean... <sighs> The RGG Summit is the only only one of those it's that at I'm 11 like, PM. yeah. It's at 11 p.m. 11 p.m., yeah. Eastern? Yes. No. Yeah, 11 p.m. Eastern. I think it's like 10 your time. I tagged the wrong day nine? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you tag? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, there's a day nine that's not the day nine. <laughs> oh, I hope it's like an imposter account or something. It's probably, it's probably. Oh, yeah. Just, you like, gotta, it's um, day nine TV, not Melissa. <laughs> Who's Melissa? I don't know. That's day nine. She has one tweet from 2009. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Melissa. <laughs> Did I tag the right Frankie? Okay, there we go. Poor Very Melissa. Poor She's not Melissa. even following sorry, anyone. Melissa. You're just ruining your day. Zero likes. I am so sorry. Wow. Wow. I am so sorry. All right. Uh, we'll co I will see you tomorrow then for Ubisoft Ford, 1 p.m. Yes. Yep. And, you guys have a good um, one. Oh, yep. All right.
And that is it. So thank you guys. Have yep. a great one. See yep. you. See you guys. Bye. All right. Let's wrap up the video for YouTube. Hey, YouTube, we're done. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was the piece of gaming. So, okay. Sorry I was standing up so much. I, the, I'm home alone right now uh, and pet managing as well as just a bunch of other stuff that's been going on at the house. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, I think we're going to watch this Final Fantasy stuff, but I don't think we're going to record any of it because it's four and a half hours long. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Anyways, hit the sub button, like the video, Xbox is up, all the other stuff is up. You can go check all that out here on youtube.com slash itmejp. Drop a sub. Appreciate it. Uh, we're currently disputing the Summer Game Fest show uh, because... A company whose name I don't want to say in case they decide to claim this too for fucking crazy reasons um, is blocking that. So hopefully we can get that VOD back. If not, I think uh, VODs exist on Co and Zeke. So you can go check that out. But yep, that's it. Have a good rest of your day. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.